Hello, I'm Bob Ravenscroft, the Vice President for Advancement and Chief Development Officer here at Bryan Health. At the end of last year, I had the pleasure of sitting down for our rounding on Russell series, the exit interview. Employees embraced that and wanted a little bit more, so what we're going to bring you now is a short series and not rounding on Russell, but rounding on Russ. So we're going to introduce you to our, our new Bryan Health CEO. In the first segment, we're going to talk about Russ's background and his family and things so you can get to know him as an employee. The second segment will focus on his leadership style and a little bit of vision for Bryan Health. And then in the third segment, kind of backed by popular demand, we entertained uh, questions from employees that Russ will then answer. So sit back and enjoy our first uh, session on Rounding on Russ, which takes a look at his upbringing, background, and family. The employees, they've known you as our CFO, our numbers guy. They want to know a little bit about you and starting like, where are you from? What's your background? Sure. Yeah, I'm just from Adams, Nebraska, south and east to here, about 30 miles. Farm kid, grew up in a small town uh, with a small class and we played eight-man football and uh, we, we drove Main Street on Friday nights uh, up and down about two blocks. I was a farm kid so I put up hay. Uh, scooped pens and spent hours and hours and hours on tractors and I, I loved loved that life. I wish all of my kids could have experienced that. Now you also once told me that you spent a little bit of time on a dirt bike here and there. My brothers and I earned uh, enough money out of walking my dad's bean fields at five in the morning uh, to, to buy this little Honda 70 dirt bike that was actually street legal as well. And so we would drive it to town those five miles on every back road. I spent some time going and playing the piano at, uh, at nursing homes. My mom would uh, send us out there. As long as I didn't get too crazy going into town, we could, we could do all of that. So are you the youngest, oldest? I'm the middle kid, but we were all together, we were only four years apart, so we were really competitive kids. We fought over everything. My dad encouraged it, and my mom hated it. Still to this day, we still fight over uh, dumb things like, who's the tallest yeah. as we're getting older? So uh, we're, we're still very competitive. After childhood, you went to college. Now, where, tell us where you went to school. I went to Midland College in Fremont, now, now known as Midland University, and I went there because they had a football program and wanted to play some small college football, but also they had a really good accounting program. So I finished up four years there, ended up at Arthur Anderson in Omaha, Nebraska. I audited little hospitals all over Iowa, Nebraska, into Missouri, and uh, again, that's where I spent really about two and a half years of, of getting a taste of healthcare. So where did you meet Jane? Jane is your yeah. wife along the way. Jane and I were, met at a concert through some mutual, mutual friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was there with some friends and he said, I want to introduce you to somebody. And there she was in the popcorn line. Mm -hmm. And I looked at her and said, wow, that's, that's, a, that's really something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it was probably about three or four months later that we started dating. And then in about a year, just a little over a year, we were married. You guys have built a very lovely family. Tell me a little bit uh, about your kids. Yeah. The first one is, is uh, my son, and then I have three girls following that, all about two years apart. And we're empty nesters now. So uh, my son is out in, in uh, Los Angeles, California with his wife. He's an engineer out there, and she's a labor and delivery nurse. I then have a daughter who's in Albany, New York, so the other end of the country. She's a reporter for Politico. And then a third one who's here in town, so we have one here in town. She is a dental hygienist along with her husband, owns his lawn and landscape business with his brothers. And then the fourth one's down in Arizona, so we really cover uh, the, whole, the whole spectrum. And they're also, just like they're different geographically, they, uh, they couldn't be more, more different in many other ways. Um, they are uh, liberal and conservative, they are um, uh, in manual labor, they're in white collar jobs, and we put them all around the table and we do all the things you're not supposed to do, right? We talk about politics and religion and, and uh, current events. We really are able to always have these great conversations. Rather than being frustrated with how different we are, be fascinated about why we are the way we are, uh, be fascinated uh, about uh, other people's perspectives, and that's really allowed us to keep, I think, some real, real unity uh, in, as a family, and, and really kind of, uh, even in our, we kind of take that into our different roles that we have as well. How about outside of work? 
What are your interests that you like to do? My wife and I love to do a number of things and just really are exploring these more as we've become empty nesters over these past years. So we love to travel. We travel most of the time to see our kids, of course. We're both readers and we're actually trying to do some reading together for the first time. We haven't done that since we were newly married. And then we're also, we're also trying to golf together. I've been golfing a little bit for, for a number of years now and uh, she just got back into it and so we're having a, having a blast. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Rounding on Russ where we learned a little bit about him, his background, his family, just to get to know him a little bit. In our next episode, we're going to hear from him on his leadership style and a little bit about the vision he has for Brian.